Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is my first video here. So this channel supports drawing plus fun fact. So let us begin. Today I'll be drawing a Greek girl that I have never done before and I'll also tell some Greek facts in this video. So this is my art box and my art supplies that some of them will be used today in this video. So these are my pencil colors and my brushes and my paints and everything. I also wanted to show you my macaron pens which are in this box and I'll be using them today for outlining my drawings. I have these pens of every size and depth. These are pretty useful. And these are my brush paints I'll be using today for coloring my drawing and these are pretty handy. So let us start with the drawing. I'll be referring to a rough sketch today that I have made and um, uh, I had some inspiration from many places and I usually draw on the spot but today I'll be uh, referring with a rough sketch as it helps me to draw better so here we start from the proportions and um, I'm drawing her as the same pose of the rough sketch references from many places before drawing the rough drawing so I had the color of the dress and the flowy capes and buttons and all gold like material and some frilly areas of the dress and some traditional I tried to make it as authentic as I can I was pretty inspired by Disney's Hercules Megara So I'll be starting by drawing her eyes after the proportions. So I have made her pretty sharp featured and I'll make her just like that and time for her eyes to be complete then I'll draw the nose and the lips. So here we are with the eyes, toes and the lips. Now it's time for me to draw the hair. I always start my drawings with the um, face and from the top and I like to make the eyes um, black part a bit larger as According to me, it makes the eyes more expressive. So, here we are with the hair accessories and then we'll start with the proper hair. Did you know that Greece is one of the sunniest places on earth? And 80% of Greece is made up of mountains. Anyways, let's go back to the drawing. I have drawn her hair now. Now I'll give shape to her body um to make it look more realistic as these are just the rough proportions for making the body parts all equal so that it's not like the legs are 
short and the face is big or anything else to make the drawing proportionate so here we are now i'll be drawing the belt and um the other accessories that go with the dress you can look at it through my rough sketch did you know that it is believed that the greeks invented the oldest toy that is the yo-yo and it is said also said that the greeks invented the first alarm clock in the world it had a bit of a system so now back to the drawing So now I have finished the whole dress and I have I'll just add the finishing touches and then we'll continue. So I added um the hair and the accessories like I said. Now I have outlined them with my macaron pens. by using my 0.51 and i have also added the background if you have noticed i tried my best to make it look um, like a greek background um, and now for the supplies i'll be using for coloring so i'll use my pencil colors and my brush pens and some of my markers too so um some particular shades i want to keep it pretty authentic so let us begin coloring i have preferred to this photo from the net and i'll using the same a uh, yellowish creamish kind of shade for her dress and her belt that um like a belt beneath the belt and i thought it it gave it a nice touch so now let's get, uh, get to the coloring So I'll start from the skin that I am using my orange color in a very light manner to make it look like that and I have given her a pretty balanced um complexion even though a bit on the fair side So I have also given her cheeks a bit of blush it's my favorite part that is the shading of the um the skin and the other parts it makes it look pretty realistic and according to me it gives a nice touch to the drawing the skin and um with a peach kind of shade of my sketch and i'll be using it for the shading as you noticed and it is giving a nice touch to the skin and the rest of the drawing now it's time to color her eyes i am thinking about green to just break up the color palette for a while and you'll notice that after a while that i am not using 
green that much except for the background that I'll be showing at the end of the video. So here's her face. Now it's time for coloring the hair. I have chosen a nice brown color. So here we go. After the drawing gets a bit dried up, uh, we can see every stroke of hair and uh, I'm trying my best to make it focus but I think the lines and all the strokes of hair are not coming on the camera. <laughs> I'm sorry. So here is the um, color of the hair and I think it some of the strands of hair are visible now. And now I'll be coloring the accessories with gold, um, golden color, as if it is made of gold. And it is giving a very nice touch to the drawing. Honestly, it is. I thought it might not look that good as the colors are repeating again. But as uh, in those times, many of the colors were not invented, I had to make it look realistic now for the belt here we are now all we need to do is color the dress So here we are, I have colored the dress with a yellowish shade and I have also colored the background. You can see that through um, this picture that I am showing and um, uh, I know there wasn't any gold buildings in Greece but um, I wanted to give a matching shade to the color palette so I did so. Thank you.